I'm great. It's Steven Laura time. Let's go. Come on. I'll get your purse for you. Oh, I won't need it. Uh oh. Well, I'm wearing Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm packing a wallet. Oh, the God. The name ain't Laura. Oh, no. It's Larry. Oh, no. <laughs> Steve looking like, wait a minute, wait a minute. What have I got myself into? <laughs> What's going on, bro? Huh? What's going on? <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, Lord, uh, you need serious help trying to pull off being a guy, girl. You need serious help. You need some intervention to try to pull this off. Uh -huh. That's Larry, bro. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you look so. Uh huh. What's well, Steve? No, I mean you. Uh. What happened to your bazoo? Bazoo. <laughs> Steve always worried about Lois bazoo. Steve, those are off limits to you right now, boy. <laughs> Quit asking about them. <laughs> My what? Snook, <laughs> snook them. If you're having some sort of identity crisis, what? I love how he... <laughs> I love how Laura's just trying to be all this. And he just pulls her by. Snook them. What are you doing? Sit down and talk. What are you doing right now? Stop it. Let's talk about it. Uh-huh. You yeah. know, there are clinics for this. Although the operation is very painful. <laughs> I mean, just ask my Uncle Beverly. <laughs> <laughs> he said, just ask my Uncle Beverly. <laughs> Steve. Okay. <sighs> just like this so I could buy a car. Mm. Why don't you just write a check? Right, right, yeah. <laughs> Because the check would be too big. Mm. See, the car dealer is sexist. Ah. I figure Lori Winslow can get a better deal than Laura Winslow. <laughs> and come on, let's go. Laura, you got to be able to pull it. <laughs> Laura, you got to be able to pull it off, first of all. <laughs> she said Larry Winslow will get a better. Laura, you got to pull it off. Come on now. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> now, now, now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, listen up. Yeah. I'm going to teach you how to walk. Talk and think like a man. Mm. Now, first we'll start with the walk. <laughs> a woman walks like the wheat in a breeze. Mm. <laughs> 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 Ooh, it's too much. Men stomp like they're killing ants. That's actually true. Look, that's actually true. I always know when my daddy's coming, huh? I, Steve, come on, talk to her now. Talk to her. Now, come on. You try. <laughs> stop it. I need y'all to stop it. I feel it. like an idiot. <laughs> That's the first step to being a man. <laughs> oh, gosh. But look, let me put some. <laughs> Whoa, these two, man. There's just so much right here. Look at this. This is, this, th again, guys, this is like friendship right here. Steve. What else do I need to know? Mm. Well, let's see. <laughs> Men are earthy creatures. You know, th just point this out, too. Remember when Laura l likes to poke fun at Steve when she said, uh, you're, Steve, you're a man. Kinda. Like, that. that's what I mean by Laura is just playing with them because you clearly see she's getting all her cues from Steve because she know he's full man from head to toe. Mm -hmm. We like to spit, mm. scratch, mm. and hike up our pants. Mm. <laughs> Wondered, why do guys tug at their pants all the time? It's delicate. Steve, say it clean, Steve. Say it, say it in the Christian way, Steve, okay? Say it in the, <laughs> say it in the Christian way, Steve. <laughs> I do it to make sure the airline hasn't lost the luggage. Okay, that's good. That's good. <laughs> Lord, why did you ask? Look at Lord. <laughs> what does Lord look like? Why did I ask? Uh, why did we ask, Lauren? Why did we? Some stuff we just don't need to know, girl. We just don't need to know. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, what else do I need to know? Mm -hmm. When men are together and a pretty girl walks by, mm -hmm. they greet her with words of endearment like, hey, Yo, mama, chicky, chicky, baby. <laughs> <laughs> chicky, chicky, <chicka>, baby. <laughs> I've never had that yelled at me, though. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Laura. Yo, baby, bring it on home. Bring it on home. Wait a 
minute. <laughs> Laura said, bring it on. Oh, Laura, this isn't baseball. <laughs> she said, baby, bring it on. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Laura, this is not this is not baseball. You're not trying to get you try to you're not trying to get a whole run. Oh baby, bring it on home. Huh? Bring it on. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go get me some wheels, okay? <laughs> it's her hustle. It's her willing to do anything she has to do to to reach her goals, right? You know, and so um what Steve loves is Laura's hustle. Laura's Laura's hustle game is strong. Laura will hustle hustle man. You know, what's happening, Chief? You know what I'm saying? Laura will hustle, hustle man. But and this is what Steve loves about her. Because you have to remember, Steve kind of comes from money. You know what I'm saying? So Laura doesn't. They got her. <laughs> They're so cute. I can't deal with it. I can't deal. Ugh. Steve is low car. I'm cool. I'm cool. Wind up the rubber band on that thing and hit the road. <laughs> did you hear? Lauren continues to stay. <laughs> continues to take shots. She did you hear what she said? She said, "Now roll up that rubber band and hit the road." <laughs> Lauren, you gonna get enough of talking about Steve's car, girl? <laughs> oh gosh. Oh. Uh. Let me see, Dora. She put it into practice. She put it into practice. <laughs> Lord, she put it into practice. Look, I keep trying to tell y'all, Lord cares about what Steve thinks and she listens. Look. <laughs> Good, Lord. All right. Uh -huh. What's going on? What is the meaning of this clever charade? Uh huh. You see, you see what he just said? Clever charade. You see what I'm saying? Uh huh. <laughs> oh, gosh. I dress like this because I thought I could get a better deal from you if I was a guy. No, oh, for you to take advantage of me just because I'm a girl. <laughs> 1900 <laughs> dollars. <laughs> dollars. <laughs> I'll go. Woo. I'll go 18. <laughs> 1700 but that's it. Uh. Deal. <laughs> I told you. I told you. Come on, man. Hustle game strong. Laura, hustle, hustle, man. Yeah. What's happening, Chief? What's happening, Chief? Come on. <laughs> she got you, man. She got you, man. <laughs> Steve checking on her. Like the friend he is. Is everything okay? Oh, fine. You go ahead. Mm -hmm. I'm going to drop this baby home. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> oh, the support. That's, that's why you see, think about it. If Steve and Myra are smart in the same way, why is Steve always, you know, studying with Laura? Why? Because Laura's hustle game. Laura keeps Steve on his toes in that area, keeps his edge up. You know what I'm saying? And with Myra, it's like, yeah, you know, he can study with her and they're smart in the same way. But does she keep him edgy? You know what I'm saying? Does she keep him, you know, and like I said before, Laura does not let a, allow a lot to come in between her and a goal, her and a dream. She doesn't, she doesn't do that. Laura's, Laura throw away some Saturdays, as you saw, to get things done. Laura, is, this is the same girl that would sneak out of the house. You know, to, to work a job. Like, this is, this is what I'm saying. Laura's hustle game is so strong. And like I said before, that's why in the real, in the TV reality world, you know, Stephen Lord get married. That's why they be on their Fred Hammond. Hey, you blessed in the city. You blessed when you come and when you go. That's what they would be because of Laura's hustle, her intelligence, Steve's brilliance. There's no way that these two would be broke. There's no way that these two would even be boot, like how her, her parents are. There's no way that they'd even be uh, blue collar. They're, I told you, Laura got like that mamba mentality. If you go study Kobe 
and study his mentality, how he talks about like you have to be obsessed and you have to move everything out of the way that stands in the way of you reaching your goal. Laura got that mambo mentality. And these are the things that Steve loves about her. You know, it's not, you know, just that she's a pretty face. Myra's a pretty face. Okay. Um, Laura's intelligent. Myra's smart too. It's the intangibles about Laura that has Steve stuck on love. You know what I'm saying? His barometer is bow, bow, bow. It's right there on love. Boom. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, love God, love people. May God bless you. May God keep you.